Hi, John here. Um, today is um, Friday the 21st of uh, July 2017. Um, just come back from um, Absolute Physio to get acupuncture to be on top of the world. I uh, really, really uh, believe that that's helping uh, with my health um, um, very, very much. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to f fix up the rest of me uh, the best way I can um, because at the moment I'm feeling that there's a big job coming up uh, in the courts and I must be at my best peak performance and at the moment although I got a high blood pressure it's reading at the moment 76 on my Fitbit so it's up a little slightly I haven't been to the gym uh, because of all the work I'm doing online. Um, now straight to um, Northern Ireland and I'm hoping I'm going to get an answer back from um, Ali Foster, the First Prime Minister of uh, Northern Ireland, uh, DUP party. Uh, so I'm hoping that she'll pick up what is happening between here and the flag that we uh, hold and the king's in the king's um, jurisdiction of Admiralty in the banks, and also in the land titles, in particular the um, uh, three types of titles uh, that are prominent in the um, Admiralty Court: um, the um, cub cuboid title, which is the title to the land below, to the centre of the earth, and to the heavens. All that land and then the surface title on the land and then you've got the Admiralty title of the sea and the waterways, lakes, rivers and also anything like um, uh, open wells uh, and uh, sinkholes where the water bubbles out of the ground. I think those are being purposely done in the states where it's popping up right in the cities where they'll claim that water as title. Uh, so that's the mischievous uh, Queen and her Israel and uh, US federal state governments operating with this flag illegally. That's our authority. <coughs> Straight into Northern Ireland in Belfast uh, where the Eight Point Star of St. Patrick's Church Memorial is. Um, he's buried there and that's where my ancestors come from, Rebecca Cosgrove. So I'm going to link back through the family there and take up uh, a position of this flag there with its authority straight into Westminster with the DUP party if they are, um, take me on board. Otherwise we're going straight into Westminster anyway with the flag, uh, with or without them. But it'll be ideal to uh, join with uh, our own bloodlines there and also the um, um, Rogans, um, Irish, uh, from there as well. Uh, the James Rogan um, title and James Cosgrove uh, ancestors. So we've got a connection there. If you're watching this video, um, um, Ali uh, Foster, First Prime Minister of Northern Ireland. And so get in touch with me as soon as you can because the Chiefs here, the Paramount Chiefs, are the um, creditors behind this flag. Uh, in, it's a bank flag, it's a com commercial flag that's been given by a king, the only king's flag in the world, being given on dry land. And, uh, and the ship is on the land in Waitangi, treaty grounds. That's our title. And I must make this quite clear that the Queen and her Governor Generals uh, and representatives uh, as um, ambassadors to New Zealand have been usurping this flag for the wrong reasons and giving it to others of threat to our financial investment interests of these lands and to the um, public of New Zealand who follow us in the King's side than the Queen's side where all the fraud is. And at the moment, I'm just going to show you a bit on, online of where I'm working at the moment. And I see Jamie's just turned up. 
and um, uh, she's taken some interest again in, in what we're doing there uh, on on the law side. This is very good on law, and her Patrick family is from Belfast as well. The Patrick eight point star here on the flag, but I've assumed the um, legal right to that memorial with our Moai memorial statue in London and also King William the Fourth's memorial and King William the Third's memorial <coughs> in these titles of the Paramount Chiefs here in contract, private contract, nobody's business with that king, those kings and King George the Third, the father of the King George the Fourth and King Ernest Augustus the First and also King William the Fourth. So that's our authority of jurisdiction inside the banks that we are have our own Maui Powerhouse Bank and our company with King William the Fourth and Maui Crown Trust to administer our uh, Maui Crown Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World here in Auckland, New Zealand on Cook Street. We're going straight in there with the Paramount Chiefs to seize that land and start from there on to Cornwall Park at One Tree Hill where Mohi Manika wanted to put the um, government up uh, for the natives here. And so we're going to do that as well. Uh, and that authority will come from the Paramount Chiefs of Ngāpui in those 13 chiefs that we've talked about so many times now. So I'm just going to run this uh, video across here to the site, the Facebook site. This is for the interest of um, the people watching around the world and also to um, our friend in um, Northern Ireland, um, Ali, uh, Ali um, Foster. Now I've got uh, Gordon Bowden here, uh, there. Gordon Bowden is, is an ex-Air Force uh, man, uh, well and truly um, exposed the Crown Corporations and the Queen and all her fraud business with fictitious companies, oil companies that are in the ocean that's not there, and all the fiat money, the lot. So he's there. Uh, when we go into the Magistrate Court in Westminster Magistrate Court in Paddington, uh, Westminster City, uh, and Buckingham Palace just across from there, Trafalgar Square, we'll be pulling these court cases in there if he so wishes to adjudicate the court hearings ourselves. Now you'll see here I have a um, one of these um, uh, court writs um, into the Supreme Court there. This is the Supreme, Supreme Court seal of uh, Britain. We go from the Magistrate Court straight into the online court cases where that goes into and that's what I'm going to be doing for uh, New Zealand. Um, we've exhausted all our avenues for justice in this country is so corrupted and fraud that we're going straight back into the Magistrate Court in Westminster, the Magistrate Court, uh, Magistrate Court in Edinburgh, Scotland and also the Supreme Court of Britain straight in online. We're doing a court case online, I'm doing it, so the Paramount Chiefs will have a copy of that. And that's our jurisdiction of authority and admiralty ship on the treaty grounds in Waitangi. And we're seizing that land and this ship as well back into the custody of the King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. Okay, so it's going back to the Paramount Chiefs off the Iwi Maori Crown and Government of New Zealand. So Jamie's just uh, spotting things here and picking up behind me. Um, and so here we have... Um, uh, in the Philippines, they're using martial law, which comes from the king and which comes from this flag as well. Uh, international uh, criminal courts, we don't go there. The jurisdiction is wrong and New Zealand is not in it. You see, Australia won't join it because it'll catch them out. So we're going straight into our own court, the Magistrate Court and the Supreme Court of uh, Britain, and fix them up there. Uh, so uh, we go along here and... That's the, um, you see where the original province of New Zealand was, the whole North Island is Ulster. So we're going under this um, uh, to you, Prime Minister of um, Northern Ireland. This is Ulster, 
straight to your Ulster in Belfast is this title here to the whole Pacific okay and to the whole world for that matter with that flag I just showed you so between 1841 and 1846 the province included the North Island north of Pathia River with the passing of the New Zealand Constitution Act 1846 so we're dating back to 1846 back to 1834 when that flag was given to us this flag here that 1834 20th of March we were given this king's flag the only king's flag in the world on dry land not on the sea the ship is pushed onto the dry land and there's no need for a court bar and a dock in the court we don't have that we just have it straight to your face online in this court without a bar we don't go through the bar b-a-r capital b-a-r uh, association that because that's all corrupted fraud uh, system uh, we're out of that we're going straight ourselves uh, so we go back along here uh, there's a lot of information on on who we are and why we're going to Britain for uh, all the information is here on the early uh, years and the names of the people involved and the church missionary and the St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki where on my land there's 1831 there uh, um, where the birth certificates were put together <coughs> um, in the um, um, as uh, certificates of uh, bond uh, instruments of financial um, um, money uh, creation on the stock market. Okay, so that's um, um, Kurarika up north where that flag was given, up in Russell. The first Navy ship came in there and said the land belonged to the King, not the Queen, the King. Okay, so that's down we go. Um, we go to the Philippines, and that's the Supreme Court there, and on the gold that's there belongs to our trust. All that gold, we're going to claim back. The British military will be uh, responsible to go and claim it. Now, you can see here the eight point star. Okay, the eight point star, Belfast, Ulster, Northern Ireland, is that. That's, that's, he's buried there, and that's the title is there to all the wealth of. King William the Third, King William the Fourth. Okay, so that's King William the Third, um, and King George the Third to Paramount Chiefs in the Ulster, 1834, Admiralty ship. Okay, so that one there. Okay, so that's our authority, and that's King William the Third, uh, the Fourth. I mean, that's um, King George, father of King George. That's King George the Fourth. And King Ernest Augustus the third, the three brothers, King William the fourth, King George the fourth, and King Ernest Augustus the first. Okay, so that's our authority. Now these are the first um, before 1846. These were the northern region here to east coast, up to uh, north at uh, Okiato, the native uh, court, Okiato native court, where the uh, first ship came in from Britain and gave us that flag and so it stretched down to us down the east coast and that's what I'm saying that formed all all the white men went down here and um, uh, parked themselves down there we're going right over the whole lot of them with this flag okay mm. so we'll go past that the nasty man was there having a little say DUP uh, leader, there you go uh, Arlene um, and you'll get stability with this flag because it belongs there it came from there and it's going back there okay so you've, I've got your grace all over my page and your ministers which I would want to get involved with politically I'm, I'm alright in the middle of a boardroom or in the um, brainstorming um, place. I want to come there in particular to do the tidal turbines in Ireland and Scotland. So uh, I've got Scotland on my first list to put, uh, to put uh, the turbines there, but we'll see where that goes. If I come to Ireland, then we'll be financially better off uh, to do everything there. I'll run the business there. Now there I am with the chiefs here. Kini Toro and uh, Hohepa Epiha, and you've got Willie Peter somewhere here. I can't see it, really see him. But that, they are the ones that opened up the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court 
in a native uh, grand jury magistrate court. This is a magistrate court we opened up on our own lands and these chiefs here belong to that land and that's what we're going through up in Te Hapua. We're going to enforce our authority with that flag and their paramount chief tenship. Kingi wants to stay in Ariki, so that's his pro prerogative. We're, we're, we're leaving him to that, but we're going the paramount way under this flag. He's a king, Edward, and a queen, Victoria. He stays there, out off where we're going with this flag. And I've cut clean from him and that flag. I'm cutting them clean out. If they're going with the queen, you stay on that side because this is the authority. This is our man. That's a bloodline to King William the Fourth, and his inheritance by bloodline, uh, straight to him and straight to all the authority with our contract. He's in our contract. We chose him to be the king of Britain, UK. He's already the king of Britain, UK. Uh, by right of bloodline and it's nobody's business but ours. This is a private contract we have with him and we've already been through that process. He's wearing the eight point star. We've got the seal here of the king on his horse on dry land and his ship in the background. That's our seal and that's our eight point star and his crown of King William the fourth and he's wearing his eight-point star as well. And that's Te Rawaikato Wharaherehere Manikau, who put the title together and sold New Zealand with um, William Simons, Lieutenant Magistrate Court in Edinburgh, Scotland. He sold the lands, not him. He did the wars with the muskets to warfare for Britain. He was fighting for Britain. He was fighting for the right to um, administer banks and pound notes and land transfers and sell ownership. If there's any fraud, we seize it back. That's what's happening. We're seizing it back into the control of the British military, navy and us. We're seizing the whole of New Zealand and the Pacific Islands back into the King's Bench Native Grand Jury Magistrate Court. Okay, everything started from the magistrate court, from this man and this man. Okay, that's it. And his star of authority on the, um, um, what do you call it, what's that word again? I've written it down somewhere so I won't forget it. Uh, the principalities of, um, gosh, I keep forgetting that word. Anyway, it's the... Uh, for collecting rates, rent on land and land rents, ground rents, and also it's called municipality. This is a municipality, eight point star, for collecting the fines, the um, administrative costs who run the king's bench courts and bank. That's what the bench is, bank, and his country of conquered. Um, um, prize possessions and the creation of the King's Royal Revenue from this flag. Okay, that's the bank trading flag and we're the only ones that have got it and that's the end of that. So we are charged Bill English and John Key, especially John Key for the Panama uh, papers um, on the um, uh, fraud bank um, and now he's in Australia, he'll get caught there. He's gone to Australia because that's where all the pirates came to New Zealand from the New South Wales government and he's gone back, they'll get, he's libeled them and we're going straight into the DUP party if they care to take us on um, well, I wish to do so, otherwise we have to go straight into Westminster um, but I really would go to Scotland or Ireland, one of the two so that's where I am at the moment and um, um, We've got a lot going on on the site. Um, we've got Scotland here. Scotland. Um, I'll just while I'm here, we've got all our, our websites here. Uh, if you go along, you'll see them here. 
there's 106 of them right here, all down the left hand side here. They are all for different reasons, right up to here. And we've got Scotland somewhere here. Um, I'll see if I can spot it. Very hard, very hard to treason. Sheriff. Energy. Um, I can't see it. It's somewhere. But we've got uh, one site for Scotland. But I'll make another one for Ireland. But uh, I'm just appealing to you, um, 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 Arlene Foster, to give me a message back. I can write a, an official letter from this organisation, all the chiefs in our organisation. Um, that's the crew that went there and opened that marae up. These are all my carvings in here. Arlene, these are all my carvings in here from my tūpuna down on my ancestors at the East Cape, Tiki Tiki, where the um, British um, started off the birth certificates in 1831. So these are connected to there, and this that's my title inside this marae, my authority, and that's outside, outside the marae at five in the morning. Here's Jamie here and uh, Hohepa Epiha and this is Paul Tipene from the New Zealand Police and Russell and uh, Kerry Kerry Police Station came down to watch and um, um, so yes yeah, so um, I just want to I might see something interesting here somewhere that's the Marais Kingi Tauru here doing his karakia before we went into Waitangi. This is this is very important for the people watching up in Te Hapua, uh, and the Hui on the 18th, 19th and 20th of this month, uh, August 2017. Um, we have started from here. We came over, over from Okiato, um, uh, native court area and uh, uh, Tapaka there, and uh, um, Mikey Hill where the uh, ship of Admiralty mast is on top of the hill and the flag was flying. We put the flag up, uh, Jim we called to put it upside down as a distress call. That distress sent off a message to Britain that we have exhausted all means of justice in this country and they just don't listen and they're getting away with it too much. John Key's gone to Australia with the Panama Papers right up his backside and we're taking him into the Magistrate Court in Britain and the Supreme Court. I'm going straight into the Supreme Court with a writ of execution and control and possession and reposition of the land and this marae with all my carvings on it and also the ship of Admiralty, especially the ship, the British ship of Admiralty pushed up on dry land. It's marooned on dry land and uh, the flag is flying on dry land, our flag. Okay. So they've put their flag on, the, the Union Jack of New Zealand, 1901, 1902 flag. The Australians got the 1901, and it has no effect of the same effect as what we have with our King's flag um, of jurisdiction, of Admiralty Bank, court martial law. Now, I'm wearing all the King William IV surrogate as his surrogate. This is official people, and uh, also Arlene. Um, uh, and Arlene Foster in um, uh, Belfast. These are the King's surrogate coat of arms and King William's picture here on the shirt. And I have the hat, but I haven't got the hat on there. Um, you'll see, oh, you can't see it there. Um, I can't see it there either. But anyway, um, I'm wearing King William's photo here. And um, the um, and Moai seal here, okay, and King William's seal is here, or over here on the other side, his seal. So I'm wearing his authority over that Marae, and this the treaty grounds, oh no, not the treaty grounds, sorry, um, as um, 
Tingairi. That's Tingairi where the chiefs met and got that flag from. So, um, this is all here by EPR here. Um, so, he's a responsible uh, taumata, kaumatua for Ngāpui. And he was responsible for bringing the um, uh, taumata kaumatua together. And hopefully, um, he might be up in Te Hapua, but he's acknowledged from me that he has his place in all of this. Uh, this is a writ warrant here that's going against John Key and the Governor General of New Zealand, Patsy Reddy. These writ warrants here and the seals, there's our seals. Okay, those are our seals on our documents and the seals of here. I'm talking about seals of the court and the jurisdiction and authority against what you have in Australia and New Zealand. You've got a problem against these. Okay, you've got a problem against the Paramount Chiefs who have come out now they know who they are and how they're going to run their business now what's going to happen here is this we're recovering the lands because you have not answered us you have not refuted any of our affidavits online and the videos especially the videos and this is a citation against you Bill English John Key Patsy Reddy and Jerry Mataparai Andrews in London uh, that you are on notice um, again and again, and this time today, you're on notice before I go up to Te Hapua, that you'll be charged again from there, from the Paramount Chiefs, and that uh, authority and jurisdiction of uh, Paramount to King William IV and to Westminster Parliament Magistrate Court will come down to Titi Marae in the paddock, uh, by the popo in the tent, the same as we did before when we opened that to T. Marae King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court on the 6th of February 2017. So it's official. I'm just showing you the documents that we have here and signed with a writ warrant to seize this country back. We're seizing Cook Street straight after T. T. Marae. And then we're going down to the East Cape to seize those lands as well. Okay, so that's really what I wanted to show you. Apart from everything else, the dilemma of the New Zealand flag and court seal. There we go. Now here we here we have King William uh, a flag. When when Prince William came to New Zealand, he never got acknowledgement of King William the Fourth from the government because that's not his. Ancestor. It is not his ancestor. He's the wrong bloodline. His father is a Spaniard, <coughs> and that's the end of that. He's down the wrong just King George line of King George the Sixth is the wrong bloodline. Um, the the only Georges that we have is King George the Third, King George the Fourth, and King William the Fourth, and King Ernest Augustus the First. There, that's it, that's it, and and King King William the Third. There, those are the kings we have on that bloodline, the Dutch side, right? We're on the Dutch side of the King William uh, family. Okay, so this is this is um, um, another um, wrong doing of this government in New Zealand. Prince William opens New Zealand Supreme Court for mystery judge. You see? Now this is where we're challenging the court. I won't go through this document, but it's there online on my Facebook site. <coughs> There's a lot of information there enough uh, to go straight into Westminster and put this flag up there where it should have been in the first place. The Panama Papers. There we go. The Panama Papers, New Zealand, quite tax haven achiever. Stop the tax cheats, see? There's enough to sink him and lock him up. We're going to lock him up. He's not going to get away with it. You people are getting away with it. In New South Wales government, the convicts that are here in New Zealand, you're all going back to who you really are, the convicts. Prince William opens New Zealand Supreme Court. So there's enough I have online to sink everyone.
who can't rebut all of this. You can't refute what we're saying. There's a flag flying on the top where it should be. There's a flag flying on the top and the Union Jack and the British flag on the crossbars. Okay, that's the way it should be. That's the way it will be. And so there's our documents again. Um, Key faces sustained questioning on using prisons in Panama Papers. There, there's enough fraud on his face. And he's not going to get away with it. He's not going to get away with it. Here, yeah, look, I've marked it. Look, I've marked it. This is for you, um, Arlene, Ali um, Foster. I've just marked... This is a police case against the government. Opening of the New Zealand Supreme Court in Wellington, 18th of June, 2010. And it's got in New Zealand, Prime Minister John Key has his Minister for Justice and New Zealand Chief Justice on the 22nd of Jesus, December 2009. The New Zealand police issued case number file 09121. Eight bar six o five five against the New Zealand Prime Minister and his Minister f for Justice on charges under the Crimes Act, nineteen sixty one. There, I'm just citing it. I'm just citing what I've underlined here. Now I just want to show you. I just want to show you. I I I want to read it. The police will undertake a full investigation on both ministers. The Minister for Police is aware of this investigation. To date, no public statement has been made by New Zealand government something keeping this information secret until the Kelly um, uh, break this exclusive news since March 2009. The New Zealand government knew that the courts operate outside the law. This information was denied to the Queen with no knowledge of such unconstitutional practices. There we go. The Prime Minister oh, have been denied knowledge of the court's unlawful practices. The Prime Minister his Minister for Justice, including the Chief Justice, refused several times to give statements of confidence for the performance of the courts when requested. See, they've got no seal in the court from the Westminster or the Queen because she's gone into the EU Parliament. I'm just saying on this, I'm glad I've got this here now. I didn't know I was going to end up on it. The official police investigation now underway will ensure the law and order will be re-established. The police operates under the oath to serve the Queen faithfully. They're serving a Queen who's not there, who's a jump ship. The Governor-General representing the Queen was fully aware of all this, but has not proven to date he has informed the Queen under his duties to save the Queen and Prince William from embarrassment. All members of the News and Parliament, including the executive branch of government were notified on 26th of December 2009 that the Supreme Court cannot produce a statement of confidence which would meet the Queen's constitutional standards. There, I've got this against the courts to take up to Te Hapua, and our flag will trounce them. The New Zealand native chiefs signed the Declaration of Independence. The flag in the New Zealand court Rooms today herald a jurisdiction that has no relationship to the founding documents signed by the New Zealand Natives Chiefs in 1835. The official seal of the court, the seal of Parliament and the seal of police all bear no reference to the 1835 sovereign national flag proclaimed by King William IV. The question arises, what was the founding document signed by New Zealand native chiefs on the 12th of June 1902 that allowed the current New Zealand flag 
to become the flag of courts, including the seal for the courts, parliament and police. It must concern Prince William that 1835 flag of King that he is named after is not in the court seal of the Supreme Court. He is to open when there is no reason given by government why this happened. Now, that's all I wanted to tell you, people, today, that I'm on the law now. I am the law with my paramount chiefs here in New Zealand, straight to Westminster Magistrate Court in Westminster City, Paddington Village, County. Uh, to you, Ali, um, First Prime Minister of Northern Ireland, I want you to think of this seriously. You'll be more, more beneficial with me being there and live in London uh, in Paddington, where I'm going to live, shift from here, because I've got our executive to look after here, and work with you in Northern Ireland and Scotland and Edinburgh, uh, there in the native uh, chief, uh, Te Rawaikato Whare Herehere Manukau, 1820 to 1830, put our titles together for all the native countries in the world, Ali. Take my word, I'm telling you the truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Everything I say is cited, fact, evidence, for any court of law, including the Supreme Court here, has no real authority. This is the police number that uh, is here. It was a police file, file number. I'm going to read it to you again, I've just made it uh, bigger. I'm going to read it one more time, just this bit. On the 22nd of December 2009, the New Zealand Police issued case file number 091218 bar 6055 against the New Zealand Prime Minister and his Minister for Justice on charges under the Crimes Act 1961. Um, Sean Elias. Dame Sean Elias is, is, is still is the uh, judge of the Supreme Court, <coughs> Chief Justice. And she started off with fraud with her husband as well, Fletcher, Hugh Fletcher in the Lombard and Doug uh, Graham case where he got caught. She didn't get caught, but I'm, I'm going to put her straight into court, into the Supreme Court, the court she's in now. We should be in there. We're going in there to run that court with this flag sitting in there with you. got no seal from Westminster, Sean Rice. You know, you know that you're fooling with the King's law. You're fooling with the King and me, his surrogate. Now that's serious. That's very serious. And we're going to catch you all out and including John Key, gone to hide in Australia under the Australian federal state government, which comes under this flag as well. So no matter which way you go, and no matter if the Queen runs to Netherlands under the King William III's authority, Dutch, she's still going to get caught because that's our title in this eight-point star on this flag. The flag says everything of all the wealth that's been... <coughs> um, inherited and derived from this flag right through the world and who's been using it, who's been using it and who's been defrauding it. We're going to assess all of that in that 970 million trillion trillion pound note. That's our figure that's stuck to you. And I just finished this off. The police will undertake a full investigation on both ministers while nothing's happened. Even with John Keith, nothing. We're going to do it this time up north. We're taking this up north and we're doing a full blown magistrate court hearing inside the Marais, back to Titi Marais, and into Auckland Marais, and then down to East Coast Marais, and straight into Westminster online. You'll get the bill straight out. <clears throat> One billion trillion is a first payment against New Zealand. I'm telling you now right now on this video, cited. That's your bill for now, John Key and Bill English and Helen Clark 
and Sean Elias and all your crooks. That's your bill for now. There's more to come. That's from 970 million trillion trillion pound notes. And a trillion pounds on each of the police. I've estimated at 13,000 police. Each one got liable. They were all liable, the whole lot of the ministers, right back. I'm including right back to when we first got this flag on the 20th of March, 1831, right through. That's where the figure comes from. Everything that has been defrauded from the common people of the world. Okay, so that's, that's I said one more time. I said this one more time. The Prince William will officially represent the Queen for the first time when he formally gives his Royal Sovereign endorsement at the opening of New Zealand Supreme Court in Wellington on the 18th of January 2010. This Royal event is now tarnished by the actions of New Zealand Prime Minister Honourable John Key, his Minister for Justice and New Zealand, New Zealand Chief Justice Sean Elias on the 22nd of December 2009, the New Zealand Police issued case file number 091218-6055 against the New Zealand Prime Minister and his Minister for Justice on the charges under the Crimes Act 1961. The police will undertake a full investigation on both ministers. The Minister for Police is aware of the investigation. To date, no public statement has been made by the New Zealand government keeping this information secret until the killers uh, breaks this exclusive news from Tonga. That's where this came from. To date, no public statement has been made by the New Zealand government keeping this information secret until the killer breaks this exclusive news in Tonga. Since March 2009, the New Zealand government knew that the courts operate outside the law. This information was denied to the Queen with no knowledge of such unconstitutional practices have been denied knowledge of the court's unlawful practices. The Prime Minister, his Minister for Justice, including the Chief Justice, refused several times to give statements of confidence for the performance of their courts when requested. The official police investigation now underway will ensure that the law and order will be re-established. The police operates under the oath to serve the Queen faithfully. The Governor General representing the Queen was fully aware of all this. There was an end set name back then, but was not proven to date. He has informed the Queen under his duties to save the Queen and Prince William from embarrassment. All members of New Zealand Parliament, including the executive branch of the government, were notified on the 22nd of December 2009 that the Supreme Court cannot produce a statement of confidence which would meet the Queen's constitutional standards. This dilemma is for what reason will the Queen, the New Zealand Native Chiefs, sign the Declaration of Independence? The flag in the New Zealand court rooms today herald a jurisdiction that has no relationship to the founding document signed by the New Zealand Native Chiefs in 1835 and 1834. The officials to Britain, 1835 to New South Wales, but 1834 to Britain direct. That's the one we're doing at the moment. Not the 1835, but the 1834. They've defrauded the 1835 because they created the word Maori and iwi for their jurisdiction, which is the fraud. The word Maori and everything with Maori on it, with a Queen's head and a Maori chief, is fraud. It's corrupt and not true. It is not true. The official seal of the court, the seal of the parliament and the seal of the police all bear no relevance to the 1835 sovereign national flag proclaimed by King William IV. The question arises, what was the founding document signed by the New Zealand Native Chiefs on the 12th of June 1902 that allowed the current New Zealand flag to become the flag of the courts, including the seal of the courts, parliament and police? It must concern Prince William that the 1835 flag of, king, of the king that he is named after 
is not in the court seal of the Supreme Court. He is to open when there is no reason given by the government why this happened. There, yeah, that's what I wanted to say on this video, is that we're taking this statement with the 1834 Declaration of War flag, which is what this is before the 1835 came along. It was already founded. This country was already founded when King William gave this flag on 1834, 20th of March, at Okiato <coughs> Native Magistrate Court. Okay? That's all I can say. And the birth certificates at Tiki Tiki. 1831 in um, um, Whakawhitira Native Magistrate Court. Okay, there. That's that's all I, I, I'm, I'm prepared to say at this moment to cite the New Zealand government and its Supreme Court on its jurisdiction to stand aside, stand aside while we go ahead with our business of seizing these lands and its authority that we have, the Paramount Chiefs and myself, the Sheriff, running this whole show straight from Britain. Okay, so that's all I want to say for now. Um, we'll catch up with you later. Bye for now.